I am uh, Major General Henry Masiko from the Uganda People's Defense Forces, Uganda. I, we are here in the region as part of uh, a national military museum uh, project um, ongoing in uh, Uganda. Uh, came here to do some bit of benchmarking, uh, comparing experiences, especially with the War Heritage Institute of Belgium, who have uh, arranged uh, site visits, correction centers, and uh, taken us around the areas of war heritage, which is um, being uh, supervised by the Institute. So we've had uh, a very uh, rich and uh, enriching uh, learning experience in the last three days. Uh, Brussels uh, went to the barracks of uh, Estonia, and today we are here at this fortress, uh, which is a memorial of uh, the experiences of uh, Nazi, uh, Nazi uh, NAS activities uh, during the occupation of Belgium. We've uh, picked lessons that are helpful, not only in constructing uh, these heritage, uh, heritage projects, but also uh, learning how uh, it is done. In Uganda, we are embarking on a national military museum. They are trying to document and uh, uh, keep the history, the long history of military experiences in the nation building of our country particularly, but also our interaction with the rest of the world. We, we in Africa have had contacts with the rest of the world. So in what we are constructing, incidentally, we shall have uh, a documentation also of our uh, experiences with uh, uh, the European uh, actors who have had a history in Africa. We are in the process of having a central, a central museum, but we are also seeing that we shall have to keep memorial sites. We already have some of them but how to connect them to one institution that supervises and ensures they, they are well uh, managed and given a theme. This is what we've learned from uh, the War Heritage Institute. We don't have a similar institution in our country. This is something we've picked and we're going to think about. So what essentially we were here to to benchmark was how do we organize a national military museum but we are seeing that it's not about only a one museum you need to have a connection of different experiences there are some memorial sites which have to be preserved in their old um, old form so this is like what we've picked from here the heritage institute has kept this and documented the history of this place. We, we think we, we shall have similar arrangements uh, under the project. So uh, we, we, we are, much as we are going to be working on a national military museum, the first of its kind in our country, but we are likely to uh, have more ideas that uh, we shall borrow from the work of the War Heritage Institute, which we, 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 we may not have exactly. We have government structures that deal with it, but not on the war experiences exactly. We were informed by our representation, our embassy. Um, we have a, a, a very old mission in Brussels. And uh, when this idea came up, they, they advised that there is good experience in Belgium. 
because as you say, Belgium is the battlefield of Europe. <laughs> so it was, uh, we picked information from our, our embassy here, especially our military uh, liaison officer.